Good evening and welcome to Turner Classic Movies. I'm Alicia Malone. Now, all day we've been focusing on the career of actor Lou Ayres as part of TCM's annual Summer Under the Stars celebration. So now, let's look at one of his earliest screen roles, which was also the film that made him a Hollywood star. The Best Picture winner of 1930, All Quiet on the Western Front. This is adapted from the classic novel by Eric Maria Remarque and the story centers on the character played by Ayres, Paul Baumer. He is an energetic and sensitive young man who is recruited by his professor to join the German war effort during World War I. At first, Baumer is eager to participate in battle, but his enthusiasm and innocence quickly vanish as he experiences the brutal realities of war. When he was cast as the lead in this film, Luez had only appeared in minor roles in two other movies. His first credited role was in 1929 in the Greta Garbo drama The Kiss. He was only a supporting character there, but he did get the chance to kiss Garbo on screen. For All Quiet on the Western Front, Ayres was eager to play the part of Paul Baumer, but director Lewis Milestone was determined to get Douglas Fairbanks Jr. When he learned that United Artists wouldn't release Fairbanks, he began to consider other actors, and it was the film's dialogue director, none other than George Cukor, who arranged for Ayres to get a screen test. His performance in this movie ultimately launched his career and also helped to shape his personal views on war. During World War II, Ayres made the very unpopular decision to declare himself a conscientious objector, refusing to kill his fellow men. Instead, he served as a war medic and bravely helped wounded soldiers in the battle in the Pacific. So, from 1930, also with Louis Walheim and John Ray, here is All Quiet on the Western Front. What a powerful moment, and All Quiet on the Western Front still stands as one of the great anti-war movies ever made. But at the time of its release, it wasn't popular everywhere around the world. In Poland, the film was banned on the grounds that it was pro-German, but in Germany, the Nazi party labelled it anti-German. The protests and riots in theatres that dared to screen it were led by Joseph Goebbels, who would go on to become Hitler's Minister of Propaganda. In response, the film's producer, Carl Lemley Jr., held press conferences stating that the movie was meant to establish goodwill toward Germany and its anti-war message was an expression of hope that future wars might be avoided. In support of the film, Variety printed a review that went so far as to urge the League of Nations to show the film annually in every country in order to wipe out the desire for war. Stay with us for more Summer Under the Stars with our star Luez in a 1937 drama set during the Spanish Civil War.